Pay, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick update, if you are using Google Messages and are tied into the Google ecosystem, to let you know, in case you hadn't noticed or were unaware, that Google now is making it more secure to sign into Google Messages when you are trying to pair your devices if you are using messages on your phone and or your desktop through your web browser. Now previously, as many of you would know, we used a QR code. We had to sign in to pair our devices using a QR code and scanning that with your phone. And just to let you know now that as you can see that now Google has started rolling out the option to be able to sign in with your Google account, which apparently is a more secure process, which is understandable than scanning um, the messages app on your desktop, as an example, with your phone. Now, how this will all work, first of all, um, if you want to sign in um, using your account, you click on the sign in option and you choose the account you want to sign in with. And now you're going to notice a couple of things. You'll see it takes you to the next screen, which says open the messages app on your phone, match the emoji that shows up here and on your phone. So there we've got a little scooter and something just to take note of if you head over to your phone, obviously I'm using my phone off screen, but you'll get the idea, is you need to head over to device pairing in the settings of messages on your phone. So the messages app settings, head to your device pairing, and then you will see the emoji which you have to match up. And in this case, it's a scooter. So I tap on my screen, the scooter on my phone, and there we go. I've now logged in using my Google account and not using and signing in using the QR code, which apparently, according to Google, is a more secure process. So I just wanted to show you how you could do that in case you're unaware. And I actually think um, that's a nice move in the right direction because I actually use this process with um, the Messages app on my phone and on my desktop and my Chromebook, as an example, on a day-to-day -day basis. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.